Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are gonna be doing a get ready with me, kind of casual chit chat, trying new products. I have all of the new stuff from Burt's Bees and this is drugstore, it's very natural. I did receive all of this in PR and you guys wanted me to test drive it. So that is exactly what we are going to do. I have done a little bit of homework and what I'm finding is that every single one of these items, they are very natural. I mean, the foundation claims to be 98.9% .9 natural. Most everything else is 100% natural. So Burt's Bees, to me, is mainly known for skincare. Um, I know that my sister used their baby line on my nephew. You know, it's something you see that's natural at the drugstore. So nothing here is crazy you know, crazy priced or anything like that. I'm gonna go with more of a natural look today. That's what I've decided in my head. I mean, every time I say that, it turns into something else entirely, so we'll see how I do. But first off, I do wanna say that this foundation claims to be full coverage. This is the Burt's Bees Goodness Glows Liquid Makeup. It says it is full coverage. It's a mineral formula, but it's gonna leave you radiant, which in my mind does worry me just a teensy tiny bit because I don't like to get shiny and my skin does tend to get really shiny. So I am gonna prep my skin with a little Cover FX Custom Blot Drops just in like my T-zone to hopefully prevent some of that from happening. I don't know, sometimes I end up really liking the more dewy formulas because it just looks more like your skin so it can be a really good thing but we're preparing for it to melt down you know so i'm lightly taking the custom blot drop just in my t-zone and then i do want to fill in my pores a little bit so i'm going to take my very favorite the tarte clean slate pore filling primer the foundation is up there in price, you guys. I was kind of surprised. It's $17. This does come with a pump. The color I have is 1030 Linen Beige. So this formula has meadow foam. That is meadow foam seed oil. That is their ingredient that's gonna keep your skin really dewy and fresh. It's formulated without a bunch of the typical bad stuff. You know, no phthalates, no parabens, no SLS. I don't even know what that is, but. You know, it's just, it's more natural. This also doesn't have any synthetic fragrance. I actually really enjoy that. I'm trying to take a look at a lot of my skincare products and foundations and whatnot, and fragrance, as nice as it is sometimes, it's just not necessary, and it's kind of crazy how many products have it in there. I mean, I'm not like totally against it, but at the same time, you don't really need it, you know? So many of you guys picked up on the teeny tiny joke in one of my more recent videos with Chad from SNL. He's my favorite. How many of you guys still totally love SNL? I love SNL so much. And Chad, I don't know why, is like my absolute diehard favorite character. Okay. Uh, I do that all the time. And people that don't watch SNL, they're like, what is her problem? Why does she keep saying okay like that? This is smoothing out pretty nice and actually, it's not a bad match after all, right? I'm having a hard time blending right here though. I hate that. Ugh. When my foundation does not blend right here, it's just like a big like warning, warning. It's gonna be horrible everywhere. You know, cause then I feel like it's gonna do it here. It's gonna do it around my eyes. It's gonna do it here. I'm gonna go in with a little bit extra over my more pigmented areas. All right, they didn't come out with a concealer that I'm aware of, so I'm gonna use my Catrice Liquid Camouflage. This is the shade Light Neutral, and I'm just gonna go right underneath the eye. Best $6 concealer I've ever found. Yeah, let's go natural and just highlight the whole face. Ah. Oh. Okay, you guys know how I always say, I'm gonna put concealer on top and see if the product moves around. This one moves it around. So it actually like took off the foundation. Okay, I'm gonna have to go in and put a little more foundation on top of it because somehow the concealer full on moved the product. Yeah, I'm already having issues with it, you guys. It's not looking that great. Um, I am going to take a little Cody Airspun just underneath my eyes, but I will set my face with the Burt's Bees powder, but it's a powder foundation, so I don't want that underneath my eyes. It'll be too heavy. We're gonna crack into the powder. This is also pretty up there in price, you guys. It is $17. Granted, this could be used with a more dense brush and you could use it as an actual foundation. So I just used a very light, fluffy brush. This is the Smashbox face brush. It's a sheer powder brush, and I love this for so many of my different powders. This just went on a little bit dry. It's just exaggerating a lot of dryness on my skin and almost has a weird sheen to it, like a shiny 
type of a situation. I just, ugh, I'm just not, I'm striking out you guys. This is not going the way that I had planned. Okay, cool. So let's move on to bronzer. I'm actually gonna use something that I really love and trust, the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And I'm just going to ever so slightly and lightly graze the perimeter of my face. For real? I know a few of you are gonna be like, you're being way dramatic, but I'm just not loving the way my face makeup looks, and that is the most important step. When I feel confident about my foundation, my concealer, the whole, you know, first step base situation, then I feel good about most everything else. So we're gonna give the blush a good go. This is the Burt's Bees blush in the shade Shy Pink. They do have three shades. One of them is more of a bronzer type shade, but I just thought that it would be a little bit warm and I don't know that I wanna you know, pile this all over my face, but I do wanna test this one out right here. I'm gonna take my Sonia Kashuk brush, just grab a tiny little bit. So these blushes are $10. They are infused with honey, with bamboo, with vitamin E. Only three shades, but I'm sure that's just like a starting point for the range. I don't know why, it's just, I feel like just everything's layering kind of strange on top of the foundation. I almost would wanna try this on top of my, you know, normal everyday combo, the Laura Mercier or my YSL All Hours. They don't have a highlighter, so I'm gonna use this pop highlighter. This is also a drugstore. This is Lunar Light. It's the Prismatic Pop Highlight. This is something new, and I've been playing around with it a little bit. I like it. it gives a nice sheen. I feel like my lips are actually pretty chapped right now, so I wanna go ahead and put on the Burt's Bees Glossy Lip. Now, the two shades that I really, like the most out of all of them are these two right here. I have the shade Nude Mist and Nude Rain. I'm gonna go in first with Nude Rain and see how that goes and then maybe lighten it up a little bit with the lighter nude in the center. So I'm gonna take first a lip liner from MAC. This is the Subculture lip liner. They didn't come out with lip liners, so I need something. That's really pretty. I mean, it's very natural, not just natural ingredients, but very natural and light. I kind of wish it was a little bit darker. These are infused with all sorts of different oils, so this almost could be just like a quick grab and go chapstick type glossy, slightly tinted lip look. I'm gonna show you some of the other shades. They have Pink Pool. This is just, I feel like, too cool tone for me. Blush Ripple, Peony Dew. It's like a nice nude. It's very sheer though. These are so sheer. And this is Rose Falls. Let me just put every single one on, why not? Feels really lightweight, not terrible, not great. You know, so-so. I wanna get back to focusing on the eyes. I definitely need to fill in my brows. I have two shades here. I have the Burt's Bees Brow Pencil in Brunette. I also have Blonde. And these are the only two shades that it comes in. It says that it's 99, 0.9% natural, and it's infused with different oils as well. I'm gonna go in first with, mm, what do I wanna do? I'm gonna go in with the darker one, and I'm just gonna brush my brow hairs upward and fill them in as I normally would. Oh, wow. I'm feeling so bad right now that nothing is really working out for me. This is just not headed in a good direction. I keep waiting for something to really jump out and wow me but this brow product is probably not one that I would reach for again. It's super, super soft, and I'm thinking that's probably because of the oil that's in it, but it just lays down so much color so quickly that you're like filling, brushing, filling, brushing, and it's really, really hard to mimic those actual brow hairs, which is why I usually like a tip that is this precise because I can really just like very much fan the color through and it looks like an actual natural brow hair. This just kind of looks a little too filled in everywhere and it feels really waxy. I just feel like I don't look like myself, you guys. I just pulled the mirror so forward and like was like, let's fix the hair. Let's like judge the hair and like see if maybe I'm just like being really harsh on myself today. Okay, so moving on, we do have eyeshadows to test out. Now they do have four different trios. To be honest, the thing that I'm seeing just through the plastic is that there's not a lot of kind of transition matte shades and that does kind of weird me out because I don't like just putting shimmer in my crease, not really my thing, nor do I like just putting like a dark shade in my crease with no transition. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it can look really, really harsh. So I really feel the overall tone of this line is not just that it's natural, it's that it's quick. 
not heavy makeup. So this might work great for someone that wants a very effortless look. I don't. Nine times out of 10 when I'm playing with makeup, I wanna play with colors that are gonna show up. I like to look like things are blended and beautiful, but you know, there. So I don't mind looking like I wear makeup. This kind of makeup is, you know, like the lip. It's just like very subtle. So not saying that's bad. It's just that we all have a different preference when it comes to how we do our makeup. What was that whole speech about, Tati? I have no idea. I'm now going to prime my eyes with a little Urban Decay Anti-Age Primer. Just pat that in. And I am gonna go into, ah, oh, shucks, which one do I use? Let's see some inserts of swatches of these colors. We have Shimmery Nudes, Blooming Desert, Dusky Woods, and Countryside Lavender, which is, I think, what I'm going to wear today. I envision this all over my lid, this on the outer edge, and maybe I can find a brown somewhere in here to just kind of fluff into the crease a little bit. I'm gonna start out by taking the lighter shade in this trio. Wait, is that shiny? Mm, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just pat this all over, focusing more toward the brow, just as a base. These do claim to be an all day wear that they won't smudge. They're infused with bamboo, vitamin E, kind of the same situation with a lot of the makeup. But drum roll please, these are $13. 13 bucks for this is, I, I mean, am I crazy or does that seem high? It seems kind of high, right? I'm gonna go all over the lid with that kind of shimmery shade. Are you joking me right now? Do you guys even see that? All right, let's do the handy dandy wet the brush trick. I mean, I guess that's a little bit better. It's just not, it's not a lot. Oh my God, why is this turning into like a fail video? It's not what was supposed to happen. I'm gonna go into the dusky woods just to get that little bit of brown and I'm gonna kind of try to start on the outer edge and go a little bit in the crease just for some definition. I'm losing my mind. Okay. This is a clean brush. I'm just kind of trying to blend it. And we will take a tinier brush and I am gonna go back into the first trio into Countryside Lavender and just hit the outer edge with that purple shade. I think that's where I stop. So. I just feel like I'm in a place where I need a little bit more than just three colors to do an eye look. And I don't think these are incredibly versatile as far as what you need to get a full eye look done. They're kind of set up in a funny way where you just feel like one extra shade would have really helped out the situation. This liner claims to not fade. It claims to be smudge proof. I love that. It comes in three shades. And of course I'm gonna use black. Oh, that actually swatches really nice. This pencil does claim to be 99.9% .9 natural. And you know, if we get a lot of wear out of it, great. All right, we found one item that I absolutely love. I love how matte this pencil is. I love that it's not glossy, dry down matte. It's just like matte right away. And it went on pretty smooth. We're gonna see how this wears, if it fades, if it smudges, and that will be the final test. But right now I do enjoy the liner. Thank you, God. Moving on to mascara. We're gonna try this guy out right here. This is 100% natural. It has glycerin in it. It's infused with oils, which kind of freaks me out because a lot of mascaras smear all over my face. And I'm worried that because of that, this one will do it. It comes in two shades. I'm gonna use the black and I'm not gonna wear lashes today. I wanna see how this wears. Ooh, very spiky brush. All right, it's not doing a ton. Go in for a second coat. We are already all the way in. We've jumped in the Burt's Bees pool. So my makeup's on. I'm not gonna change my makeup or start over. I'm just gonna go about my day. And at the very, very end of it, I will check back in with you guys and we will see what took a wild turn and maybe what lasted longer than I expected and all of that good stuff. So I will see you guys in many, many hours from now. All right, I'll see you guys soon for you, later for me. This makeup though, dude, Ooh. Hi, 
You're so adorable. I freaking love you so, 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 so much. Okay. Um, you guys, it is now the very, very end of the day. It is... It's almost 11 o'clock. Um, I know it was kind of hard with my initial first impression on all of this makeup. And now that I have worn it all day long and I have been out and about, I have to say I actually like it more now than I did when I first put it on, which almost never happens. This almost never happens. So let me break down what I love, what I really don't love, and um, we'll just go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna try not to be so distracted by this little cute guy right here. Like, you let me rock you like a little baby. Oh, <laughs> your breath is gross. Okay. Oh, you don't want to be put down because you love me so much? Okay. Puka just ate like half of my blush. Ignore that. Let's rapid fire through it. The foundation I will not wear again, even though I have to say it didn't blotch off. It was pretty transfer resistant. And I'm surprised that I did not have to touch up or powder being that it was a dewy finished product. I still feel like it sat on top of my skin and almost exaggerated dryness in a really weird way where up close, I felt like I had more texture on my forehead than I normally do. The mineral powder I don't like either being that it is matte and it has a little bit of a sheen to it. It's just a weird texture thing. I just don't like the consistency or how it looked on my skin either. And both of those products are $17, so they're not cheap. Now, where I'm actually going, mm, I kind of like it, is the blush. I'm surprised that any color that I have on my face is like still here. That's really nice. The lip product wore off in two seconds. I don't like that at all. In fact, I am playing with other drugstore items that I like a whole lot more, including this guy right here from Flower. This is Peachy Nude. I just got a bunch of shades in PR. I had been raving about this product in I think Spiced Nude for a while. And now I'm trying out more shades and I'm like, dude, this is amazing. So this compared to the $10 to spend on the Burt's Bee Glossy Lip, I don't think so. It just wasn't enough for me. Um, from there, I wanna say the brows actually I like. I didn't at first, like I hated them. But now I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, ooh. This color stayed put all day and it looks like nice and fluffy. Let me know in the comments, what do we think of the brows? Do we like it? Do we not? I kind of like it. As far as the eyeshadow goes, it stayed put. It did not crease. The color is still there. I'm really shocked actually that there is so much color left on my eyelids. This has been on all freaking day long. The liner I liked so much at first because it's super, super rich in black and matte, but I did just do my big, huge liner breakdown of all drugstore black liners. And I'm gonna say that there are so many in that bunch that I prefer over this, so I'm not gonna keep using this one. The mascara, get it out of here. It did nothing for my lashes. I think I would like this whole look a lot better if I used a better mascara. And am I missing anything else? I think that was it. I think that about rounds it up. If you want natural makeup that looks very natural, then some of this stuff I think you will really enjoy. Other things I think I would definitely think twice about spending so much money on at the drugstore, the foundation, and powder specifically. All right, I hope you enjoyed this kind of try on test out of a new line at the drugstore. And let me know as always what else you would like me to try. All right, we love you and I will see you all in my next video. Thanks for hanging out guys. Mwah.